Hey YouTube, the Altopian here. I was just watching Matches 860 and he told a story about his uh, his youth. <laughs> it's a good one. You should go check out his channel. I won't tell you what it's about. You just go check out Matches 860. Anyway, it got me kind of inspired, expired, inspired to tell a story about my misspent youth. Now, I live in the same house that I grew up in. And I'm in a little town along the Northern Pacific uh, uh, Railroad main line between Pasco and Spokane. It's, it's Burlington, Northern Santa Fe now, but at, when I was a kid, it was Northern Pacific. And, uh, oh, I guess about a mile or so from where I'm sitting now, yeah, about a mile, uh, there's a little railroad bridge uh, down here, just past the town. And there's a little of Squatzel Wasteway, irrigation water that goes under it. Now there are fish in there, but they're mostly carp, some perch, and some crappie. Anyway, I can tell you this story now. Uh, by the way, I'll even back up a little bit because I just turned 53 years old uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, this story happened when I was about 10. So I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations has expired. Anyway, a friend and I went down fishing. Went along this little railroad bridge down here. and uh, We took a lunch with us. We were planning on being there most of the day. And we took our bikes. And, had to push our bikes most of the way because we were riding through the weeds and the tulies. Uh, anyway, got down there and we sat up and we fished and we fished and we fished some more and didn't catch anything and we fished some more and ate our lunch and we fished some more. Anyway, we finally decided to go home. And all the kids around town, we had all done this. You know, you'd take a penny and you put it on the railroad track and the train comes along and squishes a penny and you think, oh, wow, that's cool. Well, anyway, we're down there and just as we're about to leave, my friend says to me, he says, let's put something on the track. I said, well, I don't have any uh, change on me. What have, we, what have we put on the track? We don't have anything to put on the track. And he says, we got one of those muffins left. It was a blueberry muffin that we had brought with us. A couple sandwiches, and my mother had made muffins, and we grabbed them off the shelf and took off. And, uh, anyway, I said, yeah, okay, why not? So we stuck this big old blueberry muffin on the rail. Well, we went on home, or started to. And uh, we got back into the town, which is, oh, maybe about half a mile from where we were. And we weren't up to our houses yet. We had to go up a long hill to our houses. And we were pushing our bikes because I can't remember whether it was his bike or my bike. The chain had come off. And so we ended up pushing them. Uh, we got back into the town. And we looked back and uh, we heard a train coming up the tracks. It was going slow, a big freight train, which was common to come through there. There's a lot of them. There still are. It's a busy main line. But anyway, the train was coming and so we stopped and looked back. We knew where that muffin was. And got about up to the muffin. The train stopped. 
and we thought, uh oh, we're in trouble now. And we watched the uh, brakeman climb down out of the cab, or yeah, it must have been the head brakeman, head end brakeman. And he climbed down out of the cab, and he walked around, and he picked up that muffin. It, it was about a half a mile away, but we could see it straight down the track. And we're just standing there by the tracks, about 10 yards away from him. And we're standing in the town with our faces hanging out, just, boop, boop. well, I wonder what's going to happen next. Boop. And uh, he got back into the cab, and the train started out. Of course, it was going slow. It, it, I used to like to say it was, you know, a, a hundred car freight train it probably wasn't that big but what they were running through at the time those consists were probably about oh 70 80 cars at least just mixed freight so it was a big freight train and this is back in the 60s anyway this freight train comes up and it's going slow. It hadn't made any speed yet. It had to start out slow and got up uh, to the town even with us and we're, we're still standing there with our faces hanging out blah, 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 waiting for the train. Uh, like, like idiots. Uh, perfect idiots. And the train went by and we're standing there waving at him. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Now what they should have done, because they hadn't built up any speed yet, they should have stopped and they should have come over and just booted our butts into the middle of the next week. That's what they should have done, but they didn't. They just kind of glared at us. And didn't wave or anything, just glared. And, uh... We're there, hey, how you doing? You know, standing by our bikes and uh, they just glared at us. The train went on by. And I said, boy, those guys usually wave back when you wave at them, you know. And my friend said, yeah. Wonder what's wrong. One of them must be having a bad day or something. Yeah, you yeah. know. And so we stood there and the whole train went by. And by the time the caboose got up there, I think the conductor was in the caboose, either that or the uh, rear, rear end brakeman. And he's sitting up there in the cupola, and he's laughing. He didn't wave either, but he's laughing. You can tell he was chuckling. But anyway, that's how we stopped a Northern Pacific freight train with a blueberry muffin. All the things we used to do. Anyway, I hope this didn't sound too much like a stupid ramble. <laughs> Just stories of mis misfit youth. I'm going to have to tell a few more of those. Tell a few about my dad, too. <laughs> those are pretty good. Anyway, this is the Altopia. I'll see you down the road.